78, 69. That's jumping all over the place. Alright, we got this thing. Let's have a nice one. Good, good tone right here. Like a 70, 71. I like 70, 71s. So they're different than the normal tones. Let's see if I can get it on my scoops. Right, I think I this is good. Oh yeah, let's check that out, folks. Check that out. Looks gold. I don't think it is though. It doesn't have the weight of gold. It could be silver. Sometimes these lakes will, <clears throat> will stain these things as uh, silk, gold looking. It's still together. Look at that. Still one piece. All right. I'm hoping it's going to turn out. You'll see what it is right here on the video. So we'll take that. Got up this morning at 4.30. Loaded up the sea dews. My intention today is to hit this swim area and hit two more areas that uh, you can't get to by uh, way of vehicle. Uh, it's just going to be kind of where the party boats pull up and they get out and swim. So it's going to be these two shallow areas. So that's my intention for today is hit that, well, plus the swim areas as well. But uh, this is my first target here, first good target. It was ringing up a 7071. And I always like 70s, 70, 71s, I always like 68s. I like the numbers that I'm so familiar with the AT Pro that I know what it's going to be before it even comes up. But those odd numbers that you don't get all the time, that's usually a good indication it's going to be something different than just junk or trash. But uh, I'll take this uh, uh, bracelet. Uh, I, think I, I think it says 925 on. It's not going to be 14K. It's going to be 925. But I'll take that. So let's keep swinging. Let's go over and finish this pool out and then let's hit some more areas and hit those uh, boat areas later on today and uh, see what we come up with. So let's keep swinging. All right, getting 61. Got a real strong tone. It'll be something. I promise you that. I don't know what, but it's gonna be something. It's not a ring though, it doesn't sound like a ring. It sounds like something different. I don't know if I can see it, I'm getting kind of in deep water here. one was something though wasn't it it wasn't a ring wasn't quite high enough to be a ring it could have been a titanium ring they usually ring up on the AT Pro around a 59 to a 61 but it didn't sound like a ring it sounded you know a little bit more of a strong hit but anyway it's a personalized necklace has the letter C on it and uh, but I don't think it's gonna be precious though maybe go play that I'll look at the class later on and I'll let you know right here on the video but but hey I'll take that any day so that's another fine not very many finds, not a lot of change out here. I don't know if this has been hit or just no one's swimming or, or what. It's just, it's clean. I'm just finding bottle caps. That's all I'm finding. So digging those. Going to make a few more passes here, then load up the CD, the treasure do, and head on out to the next uh, location. So let's keep swinging and see what else we might can find in this swimming. Area. Well, it's been a while since I found anything, so I just been working, set myself deeper and deeper. You can see I'm shoulder deep right here, reaching out to my right as I'm going this way on the swim area. And uh, it's getting a 48 to a 52, scooped it up. End up being this, uh, I believe it's going to be a stainless steel ring. It's got Roman numerals all the way around it. So that's, hey, I like that. 
I like rings. I'd rather have gold or silver, but I'll take a stainless steel. That's better than finding nothing at all, isn't it? Well, I'm going to hit this and go into the shallow and hit the shallow a little bit more, and then I'm going to head off to another lake today and see what's going to be over there. I haven't been over there in a while, so maybe we'll find some good stuff over there later on this afternoon. So let's keep swinging here and work the shallow and we'll see what we get here. Well, I'll tell you what, it's very, very few finds out here. Not even a lot of money. Uh, somebody must have hit this or there's just nobody swimming right now at this time of the year. But I uh, found this real static, like a 34, jumping all around. Thought I'd dig it because there's no other targets. Ended up being a, kind of a, what I call a junk chain. It's not precious or anything, but hey, it's something. All right, I'm fixing to hit some sweeps in the shallow, then hit some areas that are not designated swim areas, but it's where all the boats up park and, and get out and swim and stuff. So we're going to hit those beaches and see if we can find anything else uh, for the rest of the day. So let's keep swinging. Now this is why I got my treasure dude. I right hear all these boats line up all down through here and they swim. So I'm going to see if there's any rings or, or whatever could be out here. You never know. But last time I came over here, there's like 10 boats and about 20 people in the lake. And it's like all day long. There's always somebody here. And it's like about the size of a football field. It's only going out to about three feet deep, three and a half, four feet deep. And so there's a lot of ground. It's all sandy bottom, so it should be easy digging. And so uh, let's get suited up. Let's start swinging. Let's see if this is going to pay off today. All right, let's keep swinging. Getting a 69 to a 70. I like those 6970 signals. They're not common. So usually you dig something that's not common. Let's see if I can get it scooped up. A lot of trash in here. I don't know if I got it or not. Right there. I think there's a can. There's another signal in here. Oh, I think I got it. Oh yeah, look at there. Look at there. Right there. Well, my first ring, it paid off. I'm about uh, maybe, I don't know, 200 feet from my treasure due and just in about waist deep water. A lot of trash though. Man, lots of cans in here. So I've just been listening for different tones and high tones and just been kind of digging them. but. This is going to be one of those, uh, I, I dug many of these as a medallion. These are a St. Benedict. It's a Catholic uh, ring. It looks like a kid's Catholic ring. It's silver. Um, the medallion may be silver as well. It's tarnished like silver. It's got little beads around it or different designs around it. But it's a St. Benedict medallion that's set in a ring. So that's kind of a neat find. Never found one of them. We found lots of medallions, but not in a ring setting. So, all right, I'm going to keep doing about waist deep out here and see what we come up with. So let's keep swinging, see if we can't find another gold or silver.
another 78, 69 to 46. It's, ju it's jumping all over the place. What in the world? I'm digging it because there's not a lot of targets to dig. All right, we got it. Let's see, Let's see what it is. There it is. Check that out. That's a nice ring. I hope you can hear me. It's pretty windy right here. I gave up on that other spot. It's just so much trash and just I just got tired of digging trash. So I came back across the lake to one of these campground swim areas that me and Bayou Digs hit in uh, one of my videos. And we didn't find a lot in this one, but hey, that was a couple weeks ago. So here, here comes another ring. This looks like it's going to be a silver ring, but it's ringing up really crazy because it's broken. And anytime you got a silver or gold ring that's broken, it's going to be very erratic. And so uh, I'll take that. I'm hoping it's gold, but uh, I think it's going to be silver, though. Silver with some, like, diamonds or something on top. I don't know. Uh, I'll put in the video here what it is. But anyway, I'll take that. So let's keep swinging. Let's see what this holds. And then I think I'm going to call it a day and head on in. I don't know. I may go to another lake. Who knows? Let's just keep swinging right now. Well, I was getting a real jumpy signal. I've just been digging everything, and I thought it was just going to be trash, but it had a high tone, low tone, high tone, low tone, and scooped it up, and I'm too deep for my chest cam. I'm shoulder deep. But it ends up being a sterling, uh, a, a silver chain. It's, I see 925 on it. But it's been in here for a while, because it is tarnished. It may clean up pretty good, though. Um, but, hey, I'm happy about that. So let's just keep swinging this deep in. Let's see if there's anything else out here. In the 45 to 44 here sounds interesting sounds like a ring let's see if it is going to be a ring yep I don't know if it's going to be stainless or or what well, it's getting pretty late in the evening. I was getting a 44, 45, 46, jumping around and uh, scoop this up. It's a nice, uh, I, it feels like a titanium ring, but it was ringing up like a uh, stainless steel ring. I don't know, I can't see the, uh, it's getting too dark out here. I know it looks light on the camera, but it's really dark. Would help if I take my glasses off too, wouldn't it? But uh, hey, that's one ring before the sun goes down. So let's keep swinging and uh, let's see what else may be out here. In the 44, 43, 42. Sounds like a stainless steel ring. It's, I'm not very far away from that other ring. Yep. Yeah, I was just uh, maybe three or four feet away from that uh, other ring when I get this signal right here. And uh, been out here for about an hour, haven't found anything but two earrings and some handful of change. But just in the last two minutes, I've gotten two rings. So it seems like they may be up in the shallow. I've been working the deep, so now I'm going to work the shallow a little bit. I may have to go get my headlight on here a little bit and uh, keep working it up to the bank. So let's keep swinging. Let's see what else we can find. over here at the lake where I started and just got here a little bit later than I normally start and uh, just stepped in the water got a real staticky 30 something signal thought I'd dig it up thought it'd be an earring and ended up being a little cheap chain nothing precious so let's see what else is in here maybe I didn't jinx myself by finding something so early usually I do 
So let's see what else is going to be in here today. Well, I moved on to another lake and uh, just got out here about 10 minutes into it and got a like a 42 to a 50 signal and uh, end up being a silver chain. Pretty nice. Hopefully I can get me another couple of rings out of here so I'm going to work this. It's been well about two years since I've been at this lake so hopefully there'll be something here so let's keep swinging. Let's see if we can find something else. Well I made it in from the lakes today. Man it's been a long day. I got up early. A little bit later start than I normally do and Headed out to the lake. I had the day off today and just thought, hey, let's get out there and let's get off to the lakes and let's get as many as we can. And man, you just have to have one of those weeks where you just don't find a whole lot. But by, I didn't think I did, but by the end of the week, I really did find a lot of stuff. I ended up going to eight different spots, three lakes, three times, and the rest of them uh, five other times. So eight different times just to get what I got. Other times you can go out there and you can just go to one lake and get everything. But this one I had to really, really work at it. So off to the lakes I went and just spent the whole day out there and really didn't get a whole lot. A lot of people are not at the lakes right now in my area. School is uh, starting up, band practice, uh, uh, two-a-day football practices. And so everybody's kind of getting back in that school routine. And not a lot of people are going out to the lakes through the week, maybe a little bit on the weekends. And so it's really slowing down in my area. And there's just not a lot to be gotten right now with all the other hunters out there as well. But anyway, I had a fairly good week, and so I'm going to show it to you. So let me spin you around. Let me show you what I got on this video. Here's all the trash. I always like showing you all the trash. We dig lots and lots of trash in order to get lots and lots of treasure. And so this definitely was the video of sunglasses, man. One, two, three, four, five, and even six over there. I got some goggles and hair bow. This is stuff I just dig up in the scoop. It, it doesn't have any metal in it. I got a toy car or a trailer, some type of little toy here, something there, some type of magnet uh, there. I don't know what that is. Anyway, ended up getting 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 4 pennies. We ended up getting uh, 7 uh, nickels and 9 dimes. And one, two, three, four, five, six dollars and quarters. And then I dug this up. It's a copper nickel. It's a 25 halala. I think that's how you say it. It's a Saudi Arabian coin. Check that out. I've never dug a Saudi Arabian coin out of the lake. It came up as a 53. I thought it was a pull tab. And when it was in my scoop, it looked like a quarter. I'm like, what's a quarter ringing up as a 53? But that would make sense if this is made from copper nickel. That would make sense, but I think it's a cool looking coin. I'll put that in my foreign coin collection. Got a lot of bracelets here. Got one, got two. I got this chain with some type of puka shell. Go play the puka shell on it. I got another chain there and another junk chain right there. Some type of fancy bobby pin, belly button ring. Here's all my earrings. I dug this other one in my last video. If you, if, you, if you saw that, I dug the other one. And I went back to the same spot and dug that one this on this video. Here are my necklaces. I got a butterfly that's silver. A little rhinestone looking cat. <clears throat> and uh, a C, which is not, uh, not gold. It's just uh, gold looking. But it's no. Uh, I didn't see any markings on it whatsoever. And so I was hoping it was going to be gold. Just a personalized thing. I did end up getting uh, two nice silver chains right there. That one, they ought to clean up pretty good. And then another silver chain right here. You can see, 925. And uh, I think that one right there is 925. And then here is a bracelet, which is also 925, but it looks gold. It's like gold-plated silver. And so there are my bracelets and my chains. Then here are my rings. I got this real nice, uh, I don't know if it's titanium. I can't read anything on it. It was ringing up like a stainless. And here's an, I think that's going to be stainless. 
And then I dug one of these before. This is a Roman numeral ring. So three stainless rings. This one may be titanium, as light as it is. And then I got a St. Benedict silver ring. It's a, it's a medallion. That's mounted in a ring mount. It's kind of an old ring mount at that. And so that's kind of a neat find. Put that with my Catholic jewelry. And then here's my find of the week. It's a nice, uh, I thought it was white gold at first, but it's just silver with some diamond chips on top. But it's a pretty silver. It looks vintage. It looks very old. And um, it's 925 on it. Or I think it may say sterling. Let me get it in focus again. And anyway, there are my rings for the trip. I was going all day today hoping to get more. But that's all I could get was those five. But anyway, I got more than I thought I would. Uh, I really thought I didn't think I got that much until I got it all laid out. Well, folks, there's all the trash. And here's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't out in the lakes, what you can dig up and put on your tailgate and do your wrap up. The greatest treasure, my friend, is always can be found up in heaven. Keep searching. Keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.